There is a crazy amount of drama surrounding this Star Wars game. I'm talking about Star Wars Outlaws. There is a lot of reasons that people are mad at this game, but some are more sensible than others. The main one is the lack of character customization. But let's talk about that a little bit more. All we've gotten from this game right now is a trailer and some gameplay footage. And sure, in the gameplay footage, we don't see any character customization. And we also know that the main character of this game is Kves. Just like, let's say, the main character for Jedi Survivor was Cal Kestis. But is anyone here saying that Cal Kestis in Jedi Survivor had no customization? Because if so, then that's stupid, because he had a lot of customization. It was one of the main selling points of the game. I know that most people are not talking about that kind of customization, but I just wanted to bring that up there because a lot of people are forgetting that it's not all or nothing. It's not fully customizable character with different alien species or human or man, woman, whatever, or nothing. I'm 100% sure we'll be able to customize K. I know that's not what most of you want, but it's something. There are also some people that are mad that this is a woman. I've made a video about this. This is stupid. I'm not gonna talk about this ever again. Just grow up, whatever. My main point is that most of the opinions that I see about this game are quite negative, or at least absolutely not optimistic. And I understand that that's because of Ubisoft's track record, but at the same time, the things we did get about this game seem to be nailing everything correct, maybe except the character customization. We've gotten quite compelling combat. We have speeder bikes. We have space travel that actually looks really good. Missions and a lot of locations. Maybe even some kind of reputation system. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm staying positive. I'm staying optimistic about this game. And I really hope that it does well. Because if it does do well, it might be the beginning of the golden era everyone has been talking about for years. Literally years. And I can't wait for it to actually begin. If an open world Star Wars game sells very well, does very well, there is bound to be more open world Star Wars games and more Star Wars games in general, because this will be the first major release of a non-EA Star Wars game. It will be a huge signal to other companies whether it's worth it to make this kind of game. So I'm hoping this does really well. And like I said, I'm quite optimistic based on what we've seen so far. What are your thoughts about this game? You can tell me in the comments and boost my engagement because I have no views right now. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.